we are going to start by following the procedure. I'd like to recommend a, a system so that any step we take in this procedure, we mark it as green. Any step we take, we mark it as green. All right, so in this case, we have you need Spring Tool Shield and you need internet connection. Step one, create three applications in start.spring.io and add the web dependency. So in case you don't know, start.spring.io is an internet site that helps you generate a starter application. That is the initial application that you can build on top of. So it generates the application and adds the needed dependencies for you. So let's go to start.spring.io, which is here. I already have gone there. But in case you have not downloaded Spring Tool Suite, you can download Spring Tool Suite from spring. Uh, dot io the tools all sts so from here you can download spring tools you for yourself all right so we are taking the first step and we want to create three application normally what i do is i like to write down the name of the application i'm, I'm building so the first application we are going to build is going to be admissions admissions service and we are going to build another microservice called the HR service. So admission service is like the, the department in the hospital that admits new patients, assign them a bed, assign them a physician and a nurse and things like that. HR service handles the physicians, the nurses, the employees of the, service, uh, of the hospital. Then we have um, pathology service, more like the lab tests. So all the lab and the diseases uh, the diagnoses are carried out in the pathology department and they'll be using the pathology service. So the idea is that if in admissions they are trying to assign a patient to a physician, they could call the HR service to check which, phys uh, which physician or doctor or nurses are free and be able to assign, it, assign him to a patient. So that is why these services should actually have a way to communicate among themselves. And we also have pathology service should be able to call the, the admission service to be able to know which patients are there waiting for a lab test and things like that. So all these departmental services should kind of communicate. 